everyone i think we all have had a moment where we don't feel like journaling just because we don't have enough supplies so in this video i will be sharing four different ways to make your own diy bullet journal supplies that you can use in your bullet journal so let's get started the first diy is for stickers for this you will need a full size paper parchment paper or sticker sheet clear tape scissors paint and some pencil color or brush pen to decorate at first you will take the apple size paper and start the drawing of your favorite doodle on it After you are done with the drawing, now you can go ahead and decorate the doodle with the desired color. Now you are going to separate the individual doodles. After you have separated the doodles, now you can trim them. Next, you will take the parchment paper and stick the clear tape onto it. After this, you will place the sticker on the tape and then cover it with another clear tape. After you are done, you can peel the tape and trim the sticker. You can even place them back into the parchment paper and create a sticker sheet. The second DIY is for vintage sticker. Even for this you will need the same supplies. For making vintage stickers, I have printed out some stickers from the internet. The process is very similar. Now you need to cut them into individual pieces and after you are done, you can go ahead and bring your parchment paper and stick the clear tape onto it. Then you add the stickers onto the tape and place another tape over it. Similar to the earlier sticker, you will now trim it and there you have your own vintage DIY sticker. Number 3 is memo pad. For this you will need some paper, glue stick, scissor, some highlighters and a pen. First, let's start with some simple notepads. For this, you will need to draw some lines with the help of highlighter or brush pens and then cut them into small equal pieces. Then we will collect them together and add glue on top of it. You can also use a clip to hold it in shape. Similarly, you can also make animal shaped memo pads. For this, you simply need to draw an animal and then trim it according to the shape. You will have to leave it for 3 to 4 minutes to dry and you will have your own DIY memo pad. Moving on to number 4 are vintage memo pad. Similar to the vintage sticker, I have printed out some designs that you can easily find on the internet. Now you can simply cut them into pieces and stack them up. 
After arranging them, you will need to glue them together on the top corner and leave it to rest. So these were some DIY bullet journal supplies that I used to decorate my bullet journal. If you have more ideas then do leave them in the comments below. I would love to know them and I'll see you in my next video.